Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the difference between voluntary and involuntary muscular movement. Our muscular system allows us to move both inside and out. Humans have an amazing range of movement. Let's take a look. There are two major types of muscular movement, voluntary and involuntary. Let's look at typing to help us understand the difference between voluntary and involuntary muscular movement. When we control the muscles in the hands and arms and tell the muscles which keys to press, these movements would be considered voluntary. At the same time, your cardiac muscles and muscles that help you breathe are working automatically to keep you alive. These muscle movements are involuntary. The motor cortex is the region of your brain involved in planning, control, and execution of voluntary movements. Your brain sends signals down the central nervous system and then the peripheral nervous system to stimulate muscular movement. Involuntary muscles run automatically. There are two major types, our smooth muscles and the muscles of the heart, which are called cardiac muscles. Smooth muscles include muscles that can be found in your stomach, intestines, in the arteries and veins, and many other places, even around the eyes. Involuntary muscles are controlled at the medulla oblongata, which is located at the brain stem. This portion of the brain controls involuntary movements, such as breathing, digestion, and your heart rate. So in summary, muscles we can control are voluntary, and our automatic muscles are involuntary muscles. Thanks for watching, and Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.